first, <laughs> for, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for uh, coming on such short notice. This is uh, terrific to have a press conference like this at Oregon State. I don't think we've done this in many years, certainly not in my time here. So without any further ado, I'll turn it over to Jared. He's going to say a few words, and then I'll have a few words to say, and then we'll open it up for questions. So fire away there. I also want to thank everyone for coming out and showing us support. And uh, I'm glad to see my teammates and coaches and a lot of staff here. You know, it means a lot to me in this decision that I'm making. And um, I thought about this many nights and many days and I talked with my family. And uh, we have come to the conclusion that I will be declaring for the draft this coming summer. And uh, you know, I want to thank everyone for uh, being here for me, my teammates. Uh, you know, definitely, because they're, those are the guys that I've been with from day one and uh, from the summers to, to now. So thank you. Uh, I just want to thank the coaches, too. You know, from coming out to San Leandro High School and watching me play pickup and, uh, you know, noticing my talent and my skills and giving me a chance to play college basketball. And, uh, you know, especially my media person, uh, my media advisor, Sean. You know, he's, uh, he's been a great person and a great person to be around. And, um, you know, I'm excited for the situation that I'm in. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go at it full throttle. And uh, I'm happy right now to be here. And uh, I will be considering hiring an agent uh, soon. Well, uh, I just want to say I'm it really proud of Jared and excited for, for his opportunity. Uh, all of us are the team, the staff, and hopefully Beaver fans will be rooting very hard for him uh, as, as he is a, uh, he's still going to be a Beaver. Uh, it's been really fun coaching Jared. Uh, he was part of that first, my fir our first recruiting class um, four years ago. and, and uh, has really made a lot of strides. And to be considered uh, uh, as a potential professional is, is every kid's dream. And uh, we, we support him wholeheartedly. Uh, he won't be around here very long, but he'll be welcome to come back and work out with us any, any time he wants, uh, as long as it's OK with compliance. So uh, with that, I'll open it up for questions uh, for either Jared or myself. And Jared doesn't know you guys like I do, so please identify yourselves when you uh, when you ask a question. Brandon Sprague, Comcast Sportsnet. Hi, Jared. Uh, I just wanted to get your take on when you maybe made this decision with your family and yourself, and then what this process has been like for you. Uh, it's been a great process. You know, just getting some feedback from. Uh, you know, NBA teams and GMs and things like that. Um, you know, it just came down to what's the best fit for me in my future. And, uh, you know, my family were, uh, you know, they were right behind me in my decision. So they wanted it as bad as I wanted to. And, you know, I'm ready to fulfill my dream of playing in the NBA and uh, I'm going to go hard and work hard and work to my best of my ability. One more question for Craig. Uh, yeah. Brandon Spray, Comcast Sportsnet, Craig. Good to see you, Brandon. Yeah, nice to see you, too. Um, you look a little teary-eyed up there. Seems like it's a pretty emotional and hard decision for you to, to face, and I'm just curious what you do now now that he's gone with the... Yeah, I, I, I listen, it, it's, this is like losing Kevin McShane at senior night. Uh, all of these guys I think of and our staff thinks very extremely highly of. I mean, we have really become a family. I mean, I, I, words can't express uh, the the gratitude, the fun, the uh, sort of being in the trenches together, what that means to a, a team. So I'm I, I yeah I'm emotional that he's leaving, uh, probably a little bit emotional that he's not coming back. That that's that's a joke out there for you guys. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm happy for him and excited and uh, concerned and all the things you would be with somebody who's in your in your family who's making a decision like this. But I couldn't be more proud of Jared the way he's handled the whole thing. It's it it can't be an easy decision to make. Um, even if you have the support of your family and your coaches and your teammates. Uh, and then what we're going to do going forward is we're going to find another Jared Cunningham and, uh, and, and hopefully have him develop the way this Jared Cunningham developed into a guy who's um, 
looked upon by the next level as a, a viable candidate. And, and that's what we're trying to do here. We, we're raising the bar around here. You're going to hear that, that phrase a lot this year, this summer. Jared, Eric Elkin from KZI. Based on the discussions that you've had so far with some of the NBA scouts and draft people, where do they have you at right now in terms of the draft? Where do they think you might be? Uh, it's a wide range. You know, it just depends on what team likes me. And, uh, you know, I can go from either 20 to 40 or whatever. But, you know, only it only takes one team to fall in love with me. And, you know, when that happens, you know, I'm, that's going to be the day that I'm just keep going, working and, hard. And let's make it clear, the, the NBA teams haven't contacted Jared or his family directly. It's been through intermediaries, and, yeah. and um, uh, I've talked to quite a few general managers and director player personnel guys, so um, they, they, they're not allowed to contact Jared uh, individually. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared Joe Lidinger from KMTR and Eugene. Um, when did you know 100% that you were going to make the decision? How long ago did you know that you were going to go to the NBA? Uh, this was kind of recent, you know, once I went on spring break and I went home and, you know, got a chance to be at home and sit down with my family and, you know, just get on the phone with Coach and a couple other people. It was just a comfortable decision that I made and I felt great about it and, you know, I've been, uh, you know, just getting ready and getting prepared for this process. Molly Blue from the Oregonian. Craig, what kind of feedback have you been getting from the NBA regarding Jared? Yeah, it's pretty much what Jared said. It could be anywhere. Uh, it, and, and it's still a little early because everybody's trying to get an, a, a feel for who's actually coming out. Uh, but we've heard as positive as mid to late first round and uh, anywhere from there on down. So um, pretty, pretty positive feedback. Yeah, Jared, Curtis Anderson, the Register Guard. Could you kind of walk me through the decision? Was there a one overwhelming factor that pushed you to this, or was it just a combination of a variety of things? It was just a variety of things that, you know, this was my main goal from the day I started playing basketball was to be an NBA player and, you know, to be a professional. And, you know, uh, this chapter in my life it has came pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, and the decision that I had to make, you know, was a strong decision that I felt great about. And, uh, you know, after my junior season, I just felt like I did enough to, um, you know, just satisfy myself and, you know, just help my teammates out. And, uh, you know, it was enough for me to, to say that I'm ready to take on this next chapter and, you know, be a professional and play in the NBA. And going back to uh, the NBA feedback, were there any specific questions, Craig, about his, about his game or his approach to the game or? Any components thereof? Uh, specific questions of me? Uh, uh, concerning concerning Jared's game from the NBA guy. F to, to me. Yeah. Uh, not anything that teams haven't seen already. I mean, uh, you guys wouldn't know this, but we've had probably five or six days where we've had NBA guys at our practices. And so you know when you have guys coming to your gym that they're very serious. Um, I don't think, uh, if, you're, if the question is, are there any shortcomings in, in Jared's game, well, Jared will be the first to admit he's got a lot to work on. But he's got the type of um, game, he's got the type of, uh, um, what's the word I want? He, he's got the profile of being a pretty darn good NBA player. And uh, everybody I talk to is very excited about the upside that Jared has and uh, and they've seen him go from being a guy who pretty much was not on the radar screen to a guy who's very much on the radar screen in three years. So if his work ethic stays the same, which I know it will, he's going to continue to get better exponentially like he has and uh, is going to be a really good asset for one of these teams. Yeah, Jared, Curtis Anderson again, Register Guard. Was this a tough decision for you to tell Coach Robinson and some of your players that? Uh, yeah, it, it kind of was, but I, you know, I feel comfortable around them. They're just, they're just like my family. Uh, they are my family, actually, and you know, it was, you know, very easy for me to get that off my chest and tell them, and they was very accepting of it too. Jer Jared was very professional in the way he handled this whole thing. Uh, I, I and you, you guys might not think that this decision came down as late as it did, but it really did. Didn't we? I mean, we had not really talked about this until spring break, and um, 
once Jerry made his decision, he let me know. I, I had to be one of the first people to know. And then uh, as soon as we got off break, Jared, in our, in our first meeting back, made an announcement to his teammates. So uh, it's a good start for a guy who's going to be on his own pretty soon that he handled this in a tremendously professional way, and, which does not surprise me. And Jared, what will you do now to prepare for the draft? I assume you'll have some opportunities to work out in front of some scouts. Say again. I, what will you do now to prepare for the draft? I assume you'll have opportunities to showcase your skills to some teams. Oh yeah, um, you know they will have workouts. I don't know when the workouts start, but you know they have workouts. And you can go through some of the drills and the stuff they put you through. But you know, as far as being ready for those, I will be training as hard as I've ever trained, and you know that's nothing new to me because I love to train and work hard, and uh, you know just doing that and getting a, getting in the gym a lot. You know, just never leaving the gym. That's gonna be my in my home for the rest of my life now. You training with anyone specific? You gonna stay in Corvallis? You gonna head anywhere else? Uh, I'll be leaving for LA. Yeah. If you had to pick a team to go, I mean, obviously you can't. But uh, is there a team you'd want to play for? Uh, whoever wants Jared Cunningham on a team. That's as much as good I can answer. Say. Very good answer. Congrats, Jared. Nick Krupke from KVAL. How much did uh, Gary Payton play into this? I know you guys talked a lot. I know that during the season, Gary thought you had a lot to work on. Talked to him down at the Pac-12 tournament, thought that maybe another year seasoning for you. How much input did he have in this for you? Uh, I haven't really talked to him that much about this. Um, you know, but he said, you know, once you make that decision, you got to be a dog on the court. You just, you know, you got to keep going, and there's no stopping from here on out. I know this year the big goal was the NCAA tournament. You fall short of that. Any regrets yeah. on not being able to chance to one more time try to come back and yeah, uh, knock that out. I have no regrets. I'm very confident in my teammates that they're going to do their best next year. And I'll be here to support them as much as I can. You know, they're a great group of guys. And, uh, you know, they work hard. And, you know, that's as much as I can say, you know. They will be a hardworking team next year, and they will be raising the bar. So there's going to be a lot of success in this program. And, you know, just count on, you know, seeing good things from them next year. What's, uh, what's been the hardest part of saying goodbye? Uh, just leaving my friends and all of my f people that I've, all the people that I've met recently, and you know, just came close to. Um, you know, this is a great city and a great, you know, just great environment to be in. And you know, the, being on the court all the time with Beaver Nation, uh, you know, supporting the team and supporting us, you know, it's been great. And uh, they've done a great job of making everyone feel like this is another home for them. So that's just some of the things I'll probably miss, and you know, it's pretty hard right now to uh, get over. But you know, I have, I have to take my game to uh, another place and just get on and just keep moving. Craig, maybe a bit premature, but from a selfish perspective, how much does this concern you with your team going forward now? Well, I'm, I'm the, the, the main thing I'm concerned with right now is Jared's future, and I'm hoping it's, it's just as bright as this, this path, his past has been. Uh, but as Jared says, we, the cupboard's not bare. Uh, I'm really excited about what we have coming back. Um, for those folks who are at home and can't see, just about every single one of Jared's teammates are here who, is, who, who don't have class right now. That says a lot about this team. They're all very supportive. Um, but they're all, they were all up this morning at 6.30 in their workouts along with Jared this morning getting ready for next season. So I'm not panicked. Uh, you know, uh, I, wouldn't, I would be wrong if I said we didn't have um, a hole to fill. We got a hole to fill. But, you know, the, the way we're playing, I mean, you know, when you're, when you're scoring a lot of points and you're winning 20 games, there are quite a few people who are interested in playing here. So we're really excited. Jared, sorry for if anybody asked this question already, but uh, could you identify maybe the weakest points of your game that you might be working on this offseason? I'll be working on every aspect of my game. You know, you can never stop working on anything, even if you think you're as best as you are, whatever. But as far as working on working out on something, I'm working on everything. And I can get better at everything, and I will. I know I have confidence in my game and myself and the heart and determination that I will, you know, succeed. Obviously, there's a lot of people out there that might feel differently about your decision. With people saying this is arguably one of the deepest drafts, how much does it motivate you to work hard and try to get in involved in that? Your draft? Uh, you know, that's just people's predictions about this being a deep draft. I just see myself going against whoever. And you know, I know what I can do, and I know, you know, um, I can 
play with the best of the best. And I just feel that, you know, with a little more critiquing to my game and some of the things that I'll be, I'll be fine and I can I'll be able just to do what I can do. And this is a deep draft because you got players like Jared in it. So he's, he's, he's up there with those guys who are considered draftable. So uh, there's a reason why it's deep. And Craig, this question's for you. How can you, how much does this help you in recruiting now that you can say you sent a, a guy early to the NBA draft? You know, uh, it remains to be seen, Brandon. I mean, we'd like to think that people understand that they can come here and develop into professional players, NBA players. Uh, so it means a lot. Uh, but but what, what means even more is the room full of folks here. I mean, I think we have more beaver players and coaches and athletic staff here than we have reporters and that says a lot about the 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 distance this program has gone in the last three or four years uh, so it's really exciting for the program i think it's going to be good for recruiting i think it's going to be good for our players who are here who have something to shoot for uh, i think jared has an opportunity to fulfill one of uh, the few of us who play at this level uh, or who have played at this level's dreams and uh, for, e for high school players to see that happen here in Corvallis makes it easier for us to recruit. Anything else? Good. I want to thank you guys again for coming. Really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in the fall. <laughs>